all new at 11 now, the man behind the high-profile rape and murder of a child nearly two decades ago has finally been put to death. But an unexpected delay raised questions about whether Juan Chavez would face his fate tonight. Our Carson Chambers was in Stark for his execution and joins us to explain what happened. Juan Carlos Chavez was slated to be executed at 6 p.m. tonight, but that execution was put off for more than two hours while the state waited to hear from the U.S. Supreme Court that it denied a stay of execution. He kidnapped my son, Jimmy. He would sexually assaulted him. And now it's time to decide, would he let him live or would he take his life? We know what what he decided to do. Jimmy Rice's family waited nearly 19 years for a sliver of justice at Florida State Prison. Tonight they waited again, two hours and 17 minutes more than they anticipated. I did not want to be here today. So why did I come? I came here to represent my brother, Jimmy Rice. 70 year old Don Rice and brother Ted spoke briefly after Chavez was put to death. He was convicted of kidnapping, raping, and murdering the nine year old South Florida boy. Many people did not believe that Juan Carlos Chavez should be put to death for his horrible crime of raping and murdering my brother, Jimmy Rice. And I believe this comes from a place of weakness, not strength. The Rice family fought for stricter laws for child sex offenders, an act so named after the little boy taken at gunpoint from his bus stop. We must do what it takes to send a clear message to other child predators that if they go after children, if they kill children, that they will die at the executioner's hands. Chavez did tonight at 8.17 p.m. In Rayford, I'm Carson Chambers, ABC Action News.